In this video, I want to show you how to do some fine tuning on the K2 PDF opt conversions for some different types of documents. So I've got a two column document. You've recognized that one. It's the main example that I use on my website. Uh, a one column document, what, but it has, you know, these fat margins that you might want to get rid of. And then, um, a document like this. It's got a little bit, you know, uh, uh, more of a diverse flow to it than the other document. Uh, I'm not specially working with this type. I'm just going to use this as an example to show another mode. So let's start with the, that first two column document and convert it using just the default options. I'll just press enter. I'm not going to turn on the OCR. And we look at that file. And you see it did a nice job. Uh, it blow, blows up the title. It magnifies the text so you can read it. It fits the columns to the width of your device. But if you zoom in on that, the text is definitely pixelated because in the default mode, K2 PDF op creates bitmaps and writes them to the file. Now, in, they, they are optimized for a Kindle 2, so they should still look very good. And this, the default mode gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of layout. Uh, you don't have to worry as much as in the other mode which I've just added which is called native PDF output but it has some drawbacks the file is bigger and you can't I can't select text if I don't turn on the OCR uh, and and again that this file is 300 K that's twice the size of the source file so sometimes converting to bitmaps will balloon up that file a little bit so let me show you another option where if you've got your original file in uh, you know this vector text i.e. it's been created by something like Word or a, a document preparation software, then it, sometimes you don't want to throw all that information away and you still want to be able to select text on the Kindle. So I have a new mode in K2PDF op, native PDF output, but I'm going to use this MO mode option in the menu. And this is a new thing that I've added that just is a shorthand for applying several different options. So I type mode, I get a selection of modes, and I'm going to choose this two column mode, which is optimized for two column documents. So that's how it would look on the command line. You do dash mode two column, and that's just shorthand to turn off text wrapping, turn on native PDF output, which is actually on by default if text wrapping is off, and turn on some other options that keep the regions together uh, and sort of optimize the native PDF output file. So let's go ahead and do that conversion. And now look at the output file. And it doesn't look that different. But you'll notice that the title didn't get blown up as much. It's not magnified as much because it didn't text wrap it. But on the other hand, I can select text now in the output file. And I can blow it up all the way. It doesn't lose fidelity because it's using the original source rendering from the original document. So those are two nice benefits and the file is, whoops, wrong one, the file is smaller. It's only 130k, that's smaller than the source file because Mu PDF actually compressed parts of the source file that were not compressed originally. So what if your document is one column instead of two column, like this one? Well, there's another mode for that. I'm going to go back to MO mode. And I'm, this time I'm going to choose Fit Width. And Fit Width is just shorthand to turn the document on its side and get rid of the margins. Um, and turning the document on its side is just putting it in landscape mode. That's this option here. And you can actually undo that. If you prefer it to remain in portrait mode, it's easy to do that as well. But let's just look at that. And so here is the document. And I've actually already turned it on its side. This is what it would look like on your Kindle. So you'd have to turn your Kindle on its side. But let me turn it. And again, you know, you can see that you can zoom in all the way and you can select the text. So that's a nice benefit. And hopefully this is readable on your screen. For some people it may not be. This the text may still be too small. In that case, you probably want to go back and just do the default mode. And let's show you how that looks. You don't get that benefit of the text selection and the infinite resolution, but we got to turn it back to portrait mode. 
you get bigger text, except where it can't break that box out, for example. So there's benefits to each mode. And you know, if I turned on OCR, although this is German, if, if it's English and you turn on OCR, you will be able to select and search the text. The last mode I want to show you is uh, grid mode, and that's just a straight um, dividing the document into a grid of squares and showing each of those squares as one page on your device. So it's not a real smart algorithm in terms of breaking up your document. So I'm going to choose G for grid, two columns, two rows with 4% overlap uh, between the different pages. And that's how it looks on the command line. There it goes. We'll look at that. And so here's how that looks. And again, this because it uses the native, the grid option will use the native uh, output by default. So that's how it looks. You know, for example, so this page, here's the upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right. So that's, you know, and, and the, that works pretty well for this document because it's basically a two column document. So it's, it's another option for viewing a two column document. If you just want to do a simple cut it up into a grid sort of option without a whole lot of smarts to how the document is broken out. So those are three modes that that K2 PDF Op now has for you to specialize or customize the conversion of your document.